Hello, this is Uma Higuchi. I have been a teacher in SFUSD since 2009. I'm a digital learning partner at the Department of Technology. I'm excited to talk to you about Unit 5.7, Dividing Fractions. You and your students will likely start this unit in early March and continue up to spring break. The big idea of this unit is understanding of division of whole numbers can be extended to division of unit fractions by whole numbers and whole numbers by unit fractions. A fraction describes division. Earlier this year, students worked with both of the basic types of division situations, partitive and quotative. In this unit, students will continue solving problems based on both division situations, but now with fractions. It is important that students make connections between math they have already learned and math they're going to learn. Prior to this unit, students represented fractions using area, parts of groups, and number lines. They also experienced division as both quotative and partitive. Students used visual models and equations to represent multiplication of fractions. From fifth grade on, students learned to express a whole number by dividing, divided by a whole number as a fraction. This will increase their understanding of how division and fractions are connected and how both are connected to multiplication. Students will also repartition fractions into small fractional parts and solve problems involving division of a unit fraction by a whole number. In addition, they will solve problems using division of a whole number by a fraction unit. In grade six, students will focus on dividing fractions by fractions. They will also fluently multiply and divide fractions. Students will use these skills to support their understanding of ratios and in grade seven, proportional reasoning. Students start this unit by solving problems involving division of sandwiches among students and continue to recognize patterns that show the relationship between fractions and division. Students extend their understanding of fractions as division by using the inverse operation to check their work. Then students explore division of unit fractions by whole numbers using partitive sharing model in the context of making salad dressing and running a relay race. Finally, students divide whole numbers by fractions using quotative measurement model in the context of folding paper and making pudding. They use the inverse relationship between multiplication and division to verify their results. Students work in centers or a math menu on re-engagement and fluency activities. One example of how students will explore division using a partitive sharing model is in lesson series two, day two. They determine the distance students run in a half mile relay tournament in rounds with three students, four students, five students, and six students. Students will also explore division using a quotative measurement model in lesson series three, day two. Students grapple with division of whole numbers by fractions in the context of a recipe for banana pudding. When you sit down with your colleagues to preview this unit, I recommend you do the milestone task, the Marshall Track Team. Students solve division problems involving fractions in the context of a track team running a relay race and going to eat pizza. They use the three reads strategy to make sense of the problem and then solve by making a drawing, using a visual model such as number line or tape diagram and then writing an equation to represent the situation. By previewing the task with your colleagues, you will experience doing the math from your student's perspective so you can plan accordingly. By the end of this unit, students will have had many experiences with dividing fractions. They use visual models to conceptually make sense of quotative and partitive by applying their learning to real world context. Students will continue to grapple with dividing fractions through math talks, re-engagement and fluency activities, and homework pages. As always, if you have feedback, please go to sfusdmath.org and click on the curriculum feedback button. Have fun with this unit, and thank you for all that you do. We will see you again in March for Unit 5.8, Units and Volume.